my journey is an adventure that adventure can often take place internally. The way that you prepare for it is to be adaptable for any situation. Well, I've um, always enjoyed working in this region and it's been a real joy to get to know people in Bahrain and to work together with them on uh, common enterprises. Uh, Bahrainis understand and know the UK extraordinarily well. Therefore, they have been able to select what it is that we've got in the UK that's, that's relevant here. So we're at a, a very positive time. We should look forward with confidence uh, now that we've weathered the, um, the problems of COVID and move forward together uh, and I'm very confident that um, things are on the right track and the next several years are going to be very exciting period of optimism of growth you know the UK will be um, right here part of it uh, working with our Bahraini partners to you know to make it bigger and better. The Platinum Jubilee is a testament to 70 years of opportunities and many challenges shouldered by Her Majesty the Queen. Throughout her reign she has been a symbol of stability and continuity in an ever-changing world. Sheikh Hamad uh, bin Isa the first, first uh, visit abroad uh, to a Western country was to the UK in 1936. And that continued with uh, Sheikh Isa and now uh, His Majesty. So uh, that was uh, a reflection of the depth of the relationship uh, between the two countries. Our bilateral relations are anchored on a strong, deeply rooted partnership. Her Majesty's uh, Platinum Jubilee provides a unique opportunity to reflect on Bahrain's historic links with my country. And the Jubilee is a good time to appreciate UK-Bahrain royal links, which go back 200 years. We are strategic allies in trade, politics and friendship. Long may this continue with the help of Roddy Drummond the latest in a long line of enlightened British ambassadors. So good luck, Bahrain, with the celebrations. I miss your great nation and people. Hi, my name is Helen Engineer, and I'm the owner and managing director of Environment Arabia and Reef Arabia. Since 2001, we have been serving the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Middle East region, working with some of the largest global companies and clients. During our 20 plus years, we have worked on amazing projects conducting environmental social impact assessments to international standards, environmental monitoring, contamination investigations, marine and terrestrial ecological surveys, and much more. And recently, we have been involved in marine and coral surveys for major projects in the Red Sea, such as Neom and Amala. Our love for protecting marine life has led us to establish Reef Arabia back in 2012, following a government initiative to deploy up to 3,000 artificial reef units around the waters of Bahrain. We have won many awards for our innovative artificial reef designs, including our very own patented Majfara unit. We continue to work towards protecting the environment and helping industries and businesses achieve their sustainable development goals. On this occasion, we would like to congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the Platinum Jubilee. I only met her once in my life when uh... She was decorating one of my family. I think she's an example for humanity. She's an example for all of us. And I think for people like her, I think the world would have been a much safer place. When my family left Lebanon, escaping from the civil war, they took London as a, as a rescue. And then what happened is that I bought a 
flat in Caucasian Street uh, from uh, Cat Stevens then known or Yusuf Islam who became later. Uh, you know, you know that George and Amal Clooney. I, I, I always, when I go to London, I make sure that I spend a weekend with them. And uh, when they came, when they come to London, sometimes they even use my flat in London. I have personally uh, invested in the British School of uh, Bahrain, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, BSB is proud of our esteemed heritage and strong ties to the United Kingdom, and with 92 different nationalities. The British School of Bahrain is the most diverse student role in the entire country. But what really unites the school community is a strong commitment to our place in Bahraini society and a belief in the importance of an excellent British-based education. The Platinum Jubilee is a once-in-a-lifetime event to celebrate the inspirational leadership of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And on behalf of the British School of Bahrain, uh, I pass on our many congratulations to Her Majesty. We were founded in 1978, and we have been following the British curriculum at Nadine School ever since then. We're one of the founding members of the British Schools of the Middle East. We're recognized and accredited by the British Schools overseas, and also rated as outstanding by Bahrain's Bahrain Quality Authority. We have about 400 students from 54 different nationalities at the school right now, and we're well known for our holistic, child-centered education. On behalf of the Nadine School community, we would love to wish Her Majesty all the very best, and we're so grateful for the wonderful lessons that she has taught us in perseverance, resilience, service to others, and love for community. Um, Stratford SU University is a very old university. Um, it was founded in 1796. We've been here in the Middle East for, for over 25 years, initially in Bahrain uh, since 1995. On behalf of the Stratford Bahrain, I would like to congratulate Her Majesty on the remarkable Platinum Jubilee milestone. And we would like to extend our sincere thanks and gratitude to Her Majesty for the continuing support to the University of Strathclyde. We are too much attached to Britain. 50, 60, 70 years ago, the dreams of a Bahraini is to go to study in the UK. When His Majesty the, the King, you know, nominate me as one member of the Supreme Committee for the National Charter, I fulfilled what I wanted always, to make Bahrain Boston of the GCC. The relation between us and Brunel now is going on for the last 17 or 18 years and it's growing stronger every time. It goes parallel to the vision of His Majesty the King who always said he wants to be the king in an educated nation. A kind of uh, strange, some strange parallels and touch points with um, Prince William. We were rather surprised during helicopter training to be told that we'd have a special guest or rather a special colleague. And then quite bizarrely, we ended up leaving the Air Force at a similar time. Uh, I went to go and fly with the London Air Ambulance and um, being the Duke of Cambridge, he went to uh, go and fly on the uh, Air Ambulance base in that county. And um, so we had uh, the privilege of uh, being uh, accompanied by Prince Charles and Camilla uh, were there and therefore because of their attendance, the uh, graduation was made extremely special. I was knighted in 2018. I hadn't expected it um, and it was, you know, after a 34 year career um, with that final piece working for, in and with the Middle East. Um, the Queen is our head of state, but she's also our commander in chief. And so many of us who've served, you know, part of the, the medals that you get from operations, we also, you know, I've got the golden and silver jubilee medals. Um, you wear them with pride like you would with an operation because you know you're part of the British Army. So. Her Majesty has been an incredible influence for the United Kingdom. And I think that on her Platinum Jubilee, 70 years of unstinting service to the nation, you know, those of us who have also served the nation look on with the deepest admiration.